at Zalasai with the designer himself, Kersha. How are you doing? Really good. It's been a great, it's actually been a really cool night. Yep. Yeah, our team has all come together really easily and it's been great. Now, this was quite a different collection from the other things that you've shown previously. Have you, yes. do you think you've grown up? Do you think you've just taken a total different change of inspiration? What's been going on? I think one, I've grown up. That's a good term to put it. But two, because we've introduced the unisex concept into the range from last summer, uh, it's helped me to put together a range for both sexes and to really, we really wanted to strip all the range back in terms of colour and so yes we have, I'm glad you know this we've made a change because it's definitely been a big change for us but we've gone with it because it's worked really well. Yeah. Well that was actually going to be my next question, I noticed there was a very androgynous feel to it. Is this essentially really your first time properly showing men's wear but in a unisex what sort of way? Definitely. First time so I was a little nervous. Yeah. First time ever had boys on a catwalk, and so um, I guess it's like learning to hand write with your left hand. Yeah. So it was a little bit fish out of water, but I think it worked, yeah. and we had a lot of fun doing it. And what's made you want to move into this arena and moving just and not having just purely women's wear? It's just because our brand, um, even though it's feminine, it's also, also masculine. We take a lot of our shapes from men's wear, yes. and so we always have the comments, you know, why can't if you drop your armhole, we could wear it. Yeah. You know, we could do this, could you make this for us and lengthen it? So I thought, well, next season I'm going to change my way of thinking and I'm going to redevelop some styles that both sexes can wear so it's yeah. not for her or him. Yeah. How does that work in terms of like grading and sizing and the production? Because it must bring a whole new sphere of need to go down to XS so people with little can fit it or... I think... Lots of our sizing, a small woman yeah. and a small man essentially has a certain similarity, but I guess we have to just take um, into we have to take into consideration the shoulders. Yeah. And so I, I think um, what we've done is we've made it like a shirt for a girl would be a boyfriend shirt and slightly yeah. off shoulder. Yeah. And on the boy it would lift back up, so we've got him very cool. Yeah, and what do you think you do of your favourite pieces have to be? I love the kilts. Yeah. I used to be a cook collector. Yes, I was going to ask about the kilts. <laughs> I used to collect them a lot from yeah. op shops when I was a student, and, and um, I pulled them all out and I had it all look. And I'm like, I picked them up in my workroom and I said, that's somehow got to work with this kind of Puritan collection that I want to yeah. kind of develop. So um, the pleats, we had them in every shape and form throughout the collection. So. And you said Puritan just then, so what is the inspiration behind this particular collection? It's kind of like a religious kind of set following, and it's like we wanted to create a culture of yeah. people that were just absolutely like, innocent and not all at the same time. So it was like the worst of people, and it's just like this journey that um, is not and hence the hair, the makeup, and kind of starting the terms of good and evil. Thank you very much, Kershaw. It's a fabulous show. There you go. Cosplay has been a bit of a pity. So congratulations. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Annie. Perfect. We're backstage here with Solid Good Friends. Straight up to your show. Epic show. Big banger show. Everyone was very excited. Lots of friends here. Plus massive fans. How are you guys feeling? Pretty relieved. It's over. <laughs> We're we can have pretty, it there. Uh, I think we're pretty relaxed with that one. That was probably the most relaxed we were. I think everything we said, we had really good people in place doing what they were supposed to. I don't think it stretches out with the people outside, so I suppose getting texts. You know. But everyone got in, right? Is there a sneaky door? <laughs> and like, oh, it's no. Two, two minutes, two minutes. I guess that's the problem when everybody's your friend. You were those guys, or you were friends of literally everyone. Everyone's your friend everyone. at Fashion Week. They always want to be your friend. Oh, but everyone's your friend all year round, Marky. <laughs> now, I've been seeing from the beginning of the day tweets about cars having to back up sets. Nightmare, what was that all about? We had to, we had to get the uh, mini that we customised through these little double doors and it was so tight. Mission. But it was worth it though. Did you see it in there? It looks so, so stealth good. and I mean, you know, it looks so cool. I mean, that's just, it, was, it was worth it right at the end of the day. Now I have to say, Mark, are you manning up and you taking on this mini and getting rid of the fruity convertible? Salutes. Oh, look, congratulations.
Congratulations, welcome to uh, the mini car. I don't, I don't drive non turbos. <laughs> oh, oh, Ben! But you drive a convertible, so. <laughs> Yeah, but he's got to keep that pretty solid. Oh, totally. That is my tip. Now, can you guys talk us through this collection? Uh, basically a gang of party crashers that go to parties and make them way cooler. And they change the music and shit and put on good music and uh, get drunk and do stupid things like roll around and get ciggy butts on them and sometimes even get married. So. They get married. Now, is this coming from a city inspiration? It's going to be party? No, these guys are happily married, man. Of course, these guys are. Semi drunk, but that was like a good drink. It was like an enjoyable moment. Having enjoyable drink, of course, you never have to marry Yes, the bride coming out the end. Was that a quick ode to you boys getting married both in the last year or so? It is. It's about these two guys getting married and me wanting to catch up. Oh, Mark, you want to get catch up? Ladies, if you heard it here first, Mark Moore wants to get a put a ring on your finger. And then Mark didn't know we were actually going to marry him off. And we're like, oh, sorry about that. Oh, it's for the show. No, it's not. Sorry. Did you hear who caught the bouquet though? Sam Sargent. Oh no! Are you serious? Son, you're in front of him going a little bit too. We're never ever going to hear the end of that. Oh, I know. No, I have to marry Sarge. Hey, hey. No, no, no. No, it's um, guy from Go Go. Yeah, letting out some secrets here backstage. Lucky like, yeah, I got you boys oh, last. Thank you very much. much. And oh, now, God. your favourite pieces from the collection. We have to choose one each. I know it's really, really, really hard, but come on. Um, I like the big trench coat. I'm going to say a girl's piece, even though I'm well, a I guy. I didn't expect anything less from you, Mark. The fur dress, Team Jacob dress. Yes. Mm. Amazing. Uh, I love all the stuff in the yardage print. I think it's cool. It's like, uh, you know, homage to Stephen Sprouse and all that stuff. It's great, got a great feeling. Very nice. And just one last question. There was quite a lot of beautiful suiting there, because you always do your fun hot party dresses, sexy, sexy girls. And there's some beautiful tailoring in there. Is that something new that's coming through for you, Mark? That's for our older girls, eh? Our older babes. Oh, Buying into the brand, so we want them to look really cool and cute as well. Oh, younger girls with more sophisticated taste? Yeah, yes. exactly. Oh, and we just want. That's okay, Gal. This is Scarlett, just casually coming in on the interview. That's okay. Do you have any questions for the boys? Uh, no. No, oh, how yeah. much? He's been shy. Yeah, well, you saw a ton all of a sudden. He's been sunbeating for I'm the big burning, day. Uh, well, thank you very much, boys. It's been a very um, insightful interview. We've had a few secrets let loose. And, oh. yes, see you in Vegas, yes, maybe? Yes, see you in Vegas, maybe. Congratulations, boys. Well done. It was really cool. It was very huge. Everyone was into it. You could tell. They were screaming and yelling. Oh, but I know. Course, especially when Vinnie walks out. Oh, I think yeah, it, was a few, it was the male models that got it. Oh, no, it all the males. Calvary. We obviously like Bruce. our boys. Oh, oh, we talk about girls. Oh, the good boys. Yeah, thanks. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.